families that come to our center, it's very scary. It's scary that they get the diagnosis, they've never heard of this before. And I think the things that are important to hear are that everything is going to be all right. We have a lot of experience with this condition and we can treat craniosynostosis very effectively. And we're here with you. We're going to be working with you from now into the first few years of your child's life to make sure that everything turns out well. So craniosynostosis is early closure of the cranial sutures. So when newborn babies are born, they have skull plates which are connected with sutures. And the function of these sutures is really to allow the uh, skull to change as babies come through the birth canal and also for the skull to expand as babies' brains are growing. It's interesting uh, that uh, parents often think that they've done something that would either cause craniosynostosis or other conditions that we treat. It's much more common for the mother to feel that way than it is for the father. So we spend a great deal of time when we're explaining craniosynostosis to the families, getting them to understand that this isn't something that they've done and there's something we can do to help the child. For most families who have a child with craniosynostosis, this um, is a rare condition, but for us, we see a large number of children each year with the same condition, and to us, it's a very common condition. And so what I find most reassuring is that families can come to us. We can reassure them that we have a diagnosis. We can explain how um, we made this diagnosis. We can discuss the treatment plan, and then we can discuss with the multidisciplinary team what's best for their child. After we make the diagnosis of craniosynostosis, we will get a CAT scan and we'll look at a three-dimensional model of this, this child's skull to be able to both confirm the diagnosis and also for our surgeons to make plans about their, appro their surgical approach. Depending on which suture is fused, the child will be operated on any time between about two to three months of age or out as late as nine to 12 months of age. The most surprising things that we've heard in terms of family feedback is how quickly their children recovered. I think a lot of families are worried that we're going to recommend the surgery at a, child, at a time when children are quite mobile. So oftentimes they're crawling, they're walking. Um, I think they expect that children are going to be so kind of um, tired and fatigued from the procedure that they'll be restful and their worst um, the problem is that the children are ready to go. They want to walk, they want to crawl, they want to do their thing, and so it takes a lot of reassurance um, that that's okay, that's what they need to do, and um, they recover quite quickly. In almost every case, children that are born with single suture synostosis, that premature fusion of one suture, um, the child develops normally in, in every way. And I often will tell families to start saving for college because there's no reason that this child would have any problem that would prevent them from having the life that they had. Probably one of the most um, satisfying post-operative visit um, questions that we have is why do we need to come back? 